Hey everyone, Nathan from Arms and Armor here. I want to talk to you today about our Celtic Spear. So it's a new offering uh, that we've just put up on our website. Uh, we've made a few of these over the years, mostly just to sell at the Renaissance Festival or maybe a couple on Cult of Athena, but we've just posted it on our website as a normal production piece, and I think you'll agree it's pretty sweet. So this spear, it's about Oh, I'd say five foot, eight inches long, just about. Uh, it's got an almost 10 inch head on it. And the shaft is just under an inch in diameter. And that means that this thing is good for throwing. It's also good for fighting. Right? If you had a rotella in one hand, for example, this spear would be great to use in the other. Uh, you can chuck it quite a different uh, distance, really. Uh, it weighs like a pound and a half, uh, but it's really nicely balanced right out here. So it flies well, you can throw it uh, readily. It's one of my favorites, actually. You've probably seen it in a couple uh, previous videos. I jammed it in some chain mail uh, in one. Uh, it's pretty great, right? Uh, take a look. Uh, I'd suggest if you buy one, maybe buy two combine on the shipping, uh, and uh, awesome weapon, a lot of fun. Also, if it looks like I'm working out of some kind of a garage, it's true. I'm working from my home shop right now due to uh, the plague. So this is where some of the magic happens. The anvil, armoring stake, a heater, a square wheel, because it is freezing cold outside for no good reason. It's stupid the beginning of October. That's where we are.